Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply. We're talking about bucket filters today. These are really, really handy to have around. They fit right inside any five gallon bucket right in the top. You notice they've got a lip on them, so these aren't going anywhere when it goes in the bucket. These can be used to filter vegetable oil, glycerin, biodiesel, even methanol. We've sold them to people that uh, settle out honey in them, any kind of chemical that you need. They're really, really handy. They're made of high density polyethylene on the sides and they've got a nylon mesh screen in here. They're glued in really, really tight. So they're gonna hold up to just about anything you can use them with. They come in various sizes. We have them in 75 micron, which is very, very fine. If you can see that. Notice how fine, this is almost to me, it feels like uh, broadcloth, just really, really fine. Be sure and take a look at our uh, website, our blog post, where we show you the different sizes of this. It also comes in 100 micron. You can also get it in 200 micron as well. We have it in 400 micron, and we have it in 600 micron. Now, which filter is right for you? Let's talk about that. If you're filtering vegetable oil right off of a deep fat fryer, and this is the first run, the most popular to get is our 600 micron and our 400 micron. These two are the ones that we most, uh, we sell the most of by far. Um, they both will hold up really, really strong. Your oil can flow through into the bucket very, very quickly. I would say typical restaurant grease flowing through a 400 micron filter, you can dump it as fast as you can. You can throw a carboy in there and it'll flow right in. If you're doing waste vegetable oil and you're filtering for a waste vegetable oil system, you probably want to go down to 100 or 75 micron. Now, there's a downside to using 75 micron, and that's that it's going to take a while to go through there, particularly if your oil is uh, cold or it's thick oil. But if you want to pre-filter down to 75 micron, this is a great way to do it. These are totally cleanable. You can clean them off with hot water, put them in the sink, and use them. Uh, they will last a long, long time. My wife has one. I think she uses the 400 micron, and every time we deep fry at our house, she lets the grease cool down, and she uses this to refilter her grease into a, a bowl, and it gets all the dirt out. And so our grease at our house lasts a while. Once she's done with it, I then make biodiesel out of it, but it's handy because it keeps things filtered. I bet she's had ours for a good three years and it's still holding up well. After she's used it, she just washes it off in the sink, puts it back under the sink in a bucket, and it's ready to go again. These are available on our website in all the different sizes. We also sell them in combo packs. We sell them as five and 10 packs, as many as you want. We can even get you a case of them if you really need that. But stop by the website, Utah Biodiesel Supply, uh, utahbio.com. We also have these in bucket filters. We have these in uh, bag filters. We also have them in stainless as well. But if you're looking for just an inexpensive filter to filter vegetable oil or anything else you need very quickly, stop on by and this is your answer. Thanks for watching. We'll show you more products as we go. Be sure and subscribe to see more.